Hello, War of the Visions newbies. This is Suspect Amy, and I'm here to do a quick video about jumping on Shereka's back and having her carry me through PvP arena. I'll show you some of my favorite battles in the top 2500 rank, as well as absolute embarrassments, like getting soloed by Sunil. But before I do that, you may be asking, Hey Amy, you never make PvP videos for War of the Visions. What gives? Hey now, I've been known to dabble in arena here and there, but be warned, I'm not that good, and the conditions have to align perfectly for me to make the effort. What conditions, you ask? If you are new to War of the Visions PvP, just know Climbing Arena is kind of a greedy money grab by the devs. First they release a new unit banner. Then the next week after they're released, that unit is the top bonus PvP hero. This means, if you have them on your team, you get more points for every win. That week, they also skew the battle map in favor of the new unit. What? Is the new unit a Wind Element staff user? What a coincidence. Wind Element staff users just happen to have some effect bonuses in PvP this week. So the conditions for me to attempt a PvP climb is I have to get lucky enough to pull the unit with what little viz I have, then I need to be able to max them by the following Sunday to utilize their bonus. Luckily, this worked out for Shereka. Okay, here's my first showcase, and I want to talk about the Sunday Arena climb a bit. Climbing on Sunday is the hardest day. Everyone spent all week ranking up, and now the best players are at the top. I've seen players brag that they were top 1,000 on Monday or Tuesday. That's adorable and all, but what rank you finish the week is what really counts. You do get more points for win streaks, so I bet there is some advantage to stomping small fry early in the week, but that's not how I play. I completely ignore arena all week and do all of my climbing on Sunday. This is mostly just a time-saving thing. Trust me guys, the key to 8-minute dailies in this game is to save arena for Sunday. Let's look at my team. I recently converted my account to waifu only. This means I only invest resources into waifus and I only spend money and viz pulling on waifus. This is just a fun way to limit spending, while also adding a unique challenge to the game. For veteran accounts, I think this is a very fun way to play. The only drawback is that Husbandos and War of the Visions are insanely strong. I think most of the meta are male even though they probably only make up like 40% of the heroes in the game. I settled on Joom because she's still one of the top tanks in the game and Glaciella, mainly because I didn't really have many other options. For builds, I was super lazy here. I think if you're going mono element, the general rule of thumb on vision cards is you want one person to give the team 15% agility, you want one person to give the team 20 area attack resistance, and one person to give the team 20 unit attack resistance. Then you just add damage everywhere else. As you can see, I didn't do that at all. My build is kind of like a PvE build because I didn't spend much time on it. I'm sure optimizing this would have got me a bit further than where I finished. The thing with Shereka is that she doesn't have the cheat skills that a lot of high-end heroes use to survive, like Courage and Re-Raise. In the face of Curse and follow-up attacks, those don't work as well in the current meta anyways. Instead, Shereka is just a really beefy unit that's hard to kill. This is really impressive for a mage. Here are her stats on this team. 
She's almost got as much HP as my tank, Joom. You can see I just left her on her default job. I actually didn't turn off any of her skills either, so I ran her kind of natural. One skill that was amazing for me was Counter Gale. If someone tries a slash or strike attack against her, she would counter before they hit. And the range on this was just awesome. This would go off constantly against all of the top meta units. Here's an example where Mont should have won this fight, but Shereka counters him like crazy to pull off the win. Want to see something embarrassing? A high evasion senile teaches me a lesson for not equipping accuracy gear. I told myself I would only spend 200 viz on refreshes, which is only four extra refreshes. I probably could have spent a bit more, but I also didn't want to do arena all night long. I just wanted to have my fun and go to bed. To finish off, I couldn't crack the top 1000 which really sucks because there's a reward bump there. Anyways, in the end, I finished rank 1534. Not bad, and I had a lot of fun. Hopefully next time the PvP conditions align, I'll get into the top 1000. That's all I have today, thanks for watching my video. Bye everyone.